Chill Computer Guy. Today we're here in Bitwig Studio. We are taking a look at the VUMT by Klinghelm. This is a very, very, very handy utility. A lot of uh, different things all in one utility plugin. I actually recommend putting this on every single mix channel just because it has really great monitoring and it also has a very a lot of very useful tools that you find yourself reaching for all the time now this is by a software company called Klinghelm here and this company is uh, is out of Germany it's a one-man uh, operation here and there's a saturator a distorter uh, we got an effect uh, a compressor here and then we also have the MJEC Junior which is a really great sounding compressor the three of these are free but for the price of these plugins, I highly recommend buying the uh, the paid version just because you end up with a lot more uh, options here. Um, a lot of times I'll forget I have these plugins. I'll be looking for a certain kick drum sound and I'll be trying some different compressors and I'll throw this MJIC on there and I'm like, oh, that's the sound I'm looking for. Um, so very great uh, plugins for the price. You have a really great uh, saturator, the SDRR saturator. Uh, the MJIC variable tube compressor, the DC-8C advanced compressor, um, just the three of those, uh, like I say, I bought them over time. They're super cheap, so the price is right for the quality. Um, but what we're going to be talking about today is the VUMT Deluxe. Um, they have two versions. Um, for the price, pay the extra money and get the Deluxe version just because you have a lot more options there. Um, like I say, very, very useful, very, very useful utility. Let's go ahead and go over to Bitwig Studio. We'll take a look at this thing. Now, look at the size of this. It's huge. Oh, my God, it's huge. It doesn't have to be that huge. You can alter the size here. You can go down to as, as small as 50%, but 200% uh, there, and then the normal, which is 100%. Um, but super handy to, to have the different sizes so you can really kind of see what's going on. We have a bunch of different skins. We got the default cream, we got the blue, we got the woody, we got the neon, we got the brown, we got the beige, we got the green, and we got the sky. So you can kind of pick out what, what uh, works best for your, your vibe or whatnot. Um, not only that, but inside each meter you have this, which will flip the contrast around, which is really handy when you're looking at the meter to have that uh you know that ability to flip the contrast there work with your eyes a little bit better now we also have some presets we have a few uh, mastering and mixing presets but you can save your own presets in here which is super handy um but like i say i would put this on every single mix channel just because of the amount of Little, like tools very very useful tools that you can instantly click on and off uh, down at the bottom we have a high and low pass filter super handy a dynamic EQ it's a single band EQ not only that but you can listen to it so you can listen to this EQ if you turn it on you can actually listen to uh, the band that you're cutting or boosting super handy uh, the mono maker uh, great because you can turn this on and you can take a specific frequency and force it into a mono signal which is again super super handy and then of course your high and low pass filter um, and you can have different uh, you know 6 db up to a 24 db cut that's a pretty sharp cut um, and that's a high and low pass filter and of course you can turn them on or off not only that but this little arrow here you can hide those if you're not going to use them you can hide them to minimize that also this uh, middle section here can also be hidden um, which also hides the bottom section so you can make this as complex or as simple as you want um, but one of the most handy things about this is this button here force mono what this is going to do is going to force your uh, mix channel into a mono this is super handy for your stereo bus for your master bus I recommend actually mixing in mono and by clicking this button you can bring your entire mix into mono super handy super powerful um, and then of course you can uh, go back to a stereo mix and again this arrow here you can go uh, if you want two VU meters for right left or if you want just the one VU meter now that doesn't necessarily mean we have a mono signal but you can switch between the two of them okay so you can monitor your your mid your side your left your right super handy now on top of that you have the values this is going to show you your values at the bottom here you 
You also have a hold, which will hold, and then that can be set for how long that holds in your uh, tools. So you have your uh, your values, your hold, uh, you have your channel tools, which are down here. Uh, you have your label at the very bottom. You can turn on and off your label. So yeah, you have the two meters, one for left, one for right, one for mid, one for side, however you want to do that. Super great. So you have a trim knob right there on the channel, and then this will actually trim your meters. Um, and another great thing about this is it actually changes your display. So there's the VU, there's the DIN meter, there's the BC, BBC meter, EBU meter. EBU meter is a great one. Uh, the Nordic meter. you got to love the Nordic and the RMS meter. So um, you can also uh, flip your, uh, your, uh, your phase, your left, right. You can flip your phase around. You can mute your left channel, mute your right channel so you can hear... Uh, you can link them, so if you trim one, you trim the uh, you trim them both. Flip the phase to the right and left. You also have different monitorings. Like so, this is what you're gonna see. So this is left right. This is right left. This is your left channel only, your right channel, your mid and your side. And so this is what you're looking at as far as the monitor there. Probably this is probably my favorite utility plugin of all time, just because I really. Uh, like the fact that you can monitor very easily uh, I usually set this over to the uh, to the blue hot like with the blue right there you know you get the blue right there and then you can set your, uh, your RMS there You got a high, a low, a band pass, wide, band pass, narrow. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Again, you got a, a high and low pass filter. Here's your options. You have some options. Got some options. So you can change, uh, you know, all this stuff. Change when the LED pops on. Um, just, just a great, great utility plugin. Uh, probably my favorite utility plugin of all time, just because you have so many options all in one plugin. 
Um, and then you can meter. There's so many ways to meter, you know. Some of these meters, I don't even know what this stuff is. Um, but uh, it's just handy to be able to, as you learn about metering, be able to access all these different types of metering. And it's actually a really good educational plugin as well. Um, because if you put this on the end of your each mix channel, you can really get a clear uh, kind of picture of what's going on. Not only that, but you have your tools. You know, if you need a higher low pass filter right there on the mix channel, you have it right there. Um, and a great sounding plugin, you know, mainly utility, but it also sounds good. And then, uh, yeah, you can change the size of the GUI, change the look of the GUI. You have the options to turn different things on and off. Yeah. Good stuff, really good stuff. Beautiful plugin by Klinghelm, the VUMT, super handy utility plugin. Highly recommend it, and it's uh, yeah, it's 15 bucks, so you can't go wrong with this. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll have more product reviews coming up, as well as some tutorials and videos. Uh, we'll see you guys again.